my blood. Um. But yeah. What a week. What a week, bro. What a week, bro. What a week. All right, first of all, let me just say RIP to all those that died at the AFCON game. Yes. Got to shed some light on that because yes. when this happens Best to man. people from our countries of origin, there's no light shed on it. So we got to shed some light on that. 100%. Um, yeah, sad, man. You don't want to go out. No one expects... I say them things are always sad because you don't go out expecting... Of course, no one expects to die, but like it's just it's the worst thing. You're going out to a football game where you're going to enjoy, especially this is like, this is huge. It, when it comes to black people, big events like that, it's just always vibes. So you would have went there on a vibe, you know what I'm saying, on a wave, and people are just getting crushed and they're dying. Like, it's tight, man. So RIP to all those who lost their lives. Condolences, and we are praying for you. Um, crazy week, man. <laughs> chat, chat me, chat crazy week now first of all yeah peckham is the ghetto bruv <laughs> peckham where's that coming from so obviously i told you I didn't, I didn't get any shifts oh yeah quick update on the work situation because maybe people messaged me saying ah oh, looking out for you and that it's i respect that quick update you didn't get better <laughs> <laughs> it didn't get better it got worse <laughs> um, Listen, one shift the whole week. One shift the whole week. What day was it? Wednesday. At least it was in the middle of the week. And do you know what the worst thing about it is? Out of all the jobs that I applied for, one job called me on that day while I was working. Ah, oh, pain. Now, I missed the call. He goes, oh, let me know when I can call you back, whatever. No, he said, I'm going to drop my number. You call me back when you're ready. Yeah. Finish late. I had to go wake. I had to go call him the next day. Called him the next day, 9 a.m. Made sure I got there early. Well, got to the phone, early birds called him he goes oh yeah mate just in the office right now a bit busy or whatever so i'm gonna give you a call back a bit later back, i said <laughs> yeah i said i said i said i'm available anytime anytime he goes mm, cool i'm gonna call you in an hour i all had to pick up my daughter and that i was delaying it I was like yeah i need to get this phone call waited whole day man no phone <laughs> call still no phone call um but the one shift that i did have was in peckham let me list the things that I saw. I saw a Jamaican man playing music out loud from his, you know, his Bluetooth speaker, selling crack. Main road. Yes. In his hand. The crack's in his hand like this, bro. And he's telling the cats to, to pick which one they want, bro. Selling crack. Main road. That's the first thing I saw. The buildings are run down. Like, graffiti everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> everywhere, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a joke. None of their stores are updated. Back in 2012, when the world was supposed to end, bro. <laughs> this peak. <laughs> was that your first time to Peckham? I've been to Peckham, but I've been there like in a car. I've been drive. I've oh, driven to Peckham. Peckham. You've been through Peckham. Right? Yes, I've been through yeah. Peckham. I, I bought my car in Peckham. Okay. Which is a risk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I bought my car in Peckham. But. This time I went, I went Peckham Rye. Anyone that knows Peckham Rye yeah, yeah. knows it's the G-H-E-T-T-O, bruv. When I say, like, fair enough, you're going to sell crack on the main road, yeah? Mate, but you've got the big speaker playing up music. Like, you're just, <laughs> you're telling the feds, like, just, just get me. On top of that, the road, you can't, there's no vehicle, like, there's no motor vehicles allowed on the road except buses. So is this that, road's always that, empty. Is it that one road where there's shops? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was working on there. There's a McDonald's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've only been there once. I've right. Been to Peckham once my whole life. And I am not going back. <laughs> what else did you see? Um, what else did I see? Well, girls with their chest. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. Girls with their chest. With their chest. Very chesty. <laughs> very, very chesty down there. Them girls. And I respect it. South London girls, isn't it? But I was working and I looked meaty. You know, when I go that when I go to work, I don't really care about the appearance thing, bro. I was looking meaty. I heard, you know, the do-rags not tight, it's not done properly and that. So I was looking meaty, but they're still my my, my trousers were tight. Like 
Pekka's crazy, man. <laughs> it might not sound crazy from the things I've listed, yeah. And I feel like there's a lot more that I'm not remembering. But Peckham's a mad thing. I'll tell you about a customer encounter I had round there. Went to one guy, the delivery was late. Some heavy box. Walked up the stairs. His block's got four floors. I had to walk up to the third floor. This heavy box. So I'm tired as I get up there. He's already, uh, huh? No lift. He's already outside his house. Like outside his front door. Patting and whatever he's, he's doing some stuff in it. Yeah. Got to him, I said, sorry for the late. He said, oh, no, no, don't worry. It's my battery, it's my battery. I'm going to take my little hippie van down to Ramsgate. Chilled by the beach, it's soaking all the air. I said, brother, <laughs> didn't ask for all this info. <laughs> I said, what, you go traveling? He said, he's, he's, he's done Spain, he's done Italy. He's going down Ramsgate. Then something in my mind told me, just focus a bit more. I was looking at brother's teeth. I think he should have bought an electric toothbrush <laughs> instead. Because what, brother, his teeth were mad. Like, he had orange emerging out. <laughs> it's mad, bro. It was orange emerging. So I said, what's going on here today? Like, what have I walked into, bro? <laughs> what have I walked into? What a crazy Man place. Said orange emerging. Emerging, bro. It started in the middle and it, the orange was, emer- like, it was, it was spreading out like this, bro. Like, it was nuts. But it was one of the most enjoyable shifts because I was like, this is reality. There's people that really live like this. There's people that don't give a shit. He's going down Ramsgate. I don't know where the, where the fuck that is. You know, when he looked at me, he said, yeah, I'm going to go down Ramsgate. And I was like, yeah, 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 Ramsgate, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anything about, about Ramsgate. Where it is. No, of course not. One thing I've clocked about Peckham is people that don't usually go to them sides, whenever they do go there, it's like a shit. Is this how people are living? The thing about it is, bro, the neighbor, like the, the area surrounding Peckham are nothing like Peckham. <laughs> Peckham's different. And there's bare different areas what's in what's South. Peckham, oh, correct me if I'm wrong, Brixton's people. Brixton's, Brixton's not far. Like, I, so I've worked like... Uh, so no, don't go South London, bro. Sub, I've worked, is it Sub, Subic? No. Pretty sure Lewisham's close. Like the borough of Lewisham. I don't even know yeah, if I'm getting this right. Cause I don't really, don't, don't really know South like that. Streatham is not far. Streatham, I believe, is not far. So the, the neighborhoods, like the, the neighboring areas. areas, they're not that different from Peckham. No, they're, they're, they're not too far from Peckham, sorry. But, but Peckham is different, bro. All I could think about when I was walking through was, yeah, I remember Harry Pinero talking about this, and he's right. It's different. <laughs> Even the workers down there, like, different. Every degree, it must be the air, bro. It's different down there. But it was nice, it was enjoyable, man. It was nice to see some real life shit. Mm. You get me? When you're around the city so much, you just see a lot of pretentious crap, like. Yeah. So, but I say that and I might be there soon, but <laughs> who knows? Who knows, who knows? But, um, so yeah, that was Peckham. What else? What else? What else? Um, no, nah, it was only Peckham. It was only Peckham. How's your, how's your week been? Before I, before I blab on. How's your week been? I'm going to be real. This week has gone by really quickly. Must be nice for some, boy. No, not really. <laughs> no, no. Well, nice in the sense of work just it's, comes and goes. Right. But then, where I keep sport all week, I feel like I'm being very unhealthy. Because football is the only form of exercise I do. Mm. Mm-hmm. And... When I don't play football for a week, I feel like I'm bugging out. Do you know how bad that is from us? Because I feel it's the so same thing. Bad. It's bad because we do one week. It's not, it's one not week bad at all, you calm, know. But Rest. Technically, it's two weeks because mm. I kicked ball on Monday the week before. Because our game was on a Monday. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ball since. Right, our right. So game, it's going to hit two weeks. Our next game is going to be on Tuesday. Tuesday, mm. Wednesday. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. But, yeah, this week... It's gone by so quickly. It's like I don't remember it. Right. But I'm happy because it's the weekend. I can relax a little bit. Chill. Chill. Weekend's always a good time, man. Yeah. I used to look forward to it more when I was younger, though. The weekends? Don't know why. Yeah. Since I've grown up, I get why everyone looks forward to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, but when you, when I was younger, Friday was like end of school, normal school. Yeah, yeah, of course, obviously. But the, that excitement is better than the excitement of course, that we have now, yeah, of, I, I believe. For me, because the level of stress and work 
like work ethic I'm under. Right. At work. It's like Friday. When, when I'm at work and it's Friday and you say good morning to someone, the first thing they say is, it's Friday. It's yeah, bro. <laughs> People are struggling out People are <laughs> <laughs> man didn't even I'm say no good morning you, back. No good morning back. It's Friday. Yeah, I it's said, Friday. Oh, I've been I'm stressed Friday. out, man. I said, Oh, it's Friday. Yeah, like, the weekend's a holiday. Like, yeah, no, it, but it, it like, kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. It kind of definitely is, man. And, I, and at the beginning, I was like, Why is everyone so excited for the weekend? Now I get it. Because I'm once it's Thursday, for me, it's Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Man. Thursday night is Friday, still. Thursday store. night is Friday. 100%. And Friday in every workplace is a slacky day, bruv. <laughs> yeah, you don't like, like, no one, like, even no one's. I, I even left early yesterday. Is it, there you I go. Left early, I left early. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just say fuck this sometimes, man. Life does get stressful. I'm always preaching to JJ, yeah? And he's always like to me, oh, you, you know, you're not, you're not that, that much older. Bruv, man's been through the transition. I keep <laughs> telling him. You know what? The oldest told us the same way. We didn't, we didn't listen. listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not going to, he's not going to, when he's in that position, that's the only time he's going to take it in. No, nah, I'm forcing him to take that's it. That's why I don't bother telling the youngers anymore. Don't yeah. Like, you don't listen, man. Just the youngers of this generation. Oh, they're different. Oh, they're not even trying yeah. to hear. Yeah, they're not trying to hear. Anything. anything. They're not trying to hear nothing. You be telling the younger how to make money, how to make a million pounds tomorrow. If they're not trying to listen, they're not listening. Well, I feel like they have more access to everything and it's easier for them to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, which is why they don't listen. So, do you think they can actually afford not to listen, though? Because where where we had the transition period, um, they, some they can if they can, yeah. They can afford to, to yeah, yeah, yeah. They can, can in it. So that's probably why they don't. The amount of creatives that are coming through now, right? We weren't as creative back then, right? Exactly. Because literally, there's a pod full of youths. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen and it. Yeah, yeah. Chatting and eating, and we didn't have none of that. Nah, there. definitely yeah. not. So it's it was football music. Football music. Forced to go to uni or doctor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that never res- resonated that with none did, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of do you me. Know any, do you know anyone that's a lawyer or a doctor? A lawyer or a doctor? Ends, like man, that's Actual lawyer. Because we all know footballers and right. rappers. Right. Did From you know ends. A lawyer doctor. Or a doctor. Nah. You don't? Know, name one person. Lawyer or doctor. I know people that's got law degrees. Not that, not that they're lawyers, though. It does, doesn't make you a lawyer. You have to go through the bar on that, no? Yeah. Yeah. That's um, just not easy, no? Exactly. Um, I know people that got law degrees. Mm. Um, but no lawyers, and in terms of doctors, no doctors either. No, I don't know no lawyers or doctors. Still, 